My name is Sheila Montgomery with Bentley Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place tables in MicroStation Connect Edition. From this slide, you can see here that I have a sheet model and a couple of other windows open. I have uh, the place table tool settings for the tree report. And on the right hand side of the screen, I have my reports dialog box which is basically extracting information from my trees, which are cells uh, that have item types attached to them. I also have some information attached to my fences or to my fence lines. Uh, from there, we can extract that information and put it into a tabular format. So let's jump into MicroStation and see how we do this. So I'm going to open my file, the tree survey sheet. And this is my completed sheet. And you can see here that the information that we're reporting on is what is shown in view two. So I have my trees and I have several different types of fence in a reference file. I also have a link on this fence. which is giving me information about my fence, so the specifications of this particular security fence. All right, I'm going to jump into my empty model. And basically it's a copy of the other sheet. Uh, the trees, etc., are the live uh, trees. They are referenced, uh, however, so this is not a duplicate uh, information here. This is still the same information and we will still get a report based on the current uh, state of these um, report definitions. So normally to go to place a table you would go to the annotate tab under the drawing workflow and then select place table which I shall do now. When you first do this it automatically will jump to no seed but it will use, if you have selected one, a textile. So the textile will actually control the size of the text, the look and feel, if you like, of the text in my table. And in terms of row counts and column counts, you can see here how you can just adjust them to um, whatever you want here, as many columns and rows as you like. If I place this, however, it is just going to be an empty table. When I select it, my table tools will appear across the ribbon and allow me to format the columns and the rows, change the justification of the, the text, etc. Uh, but obviously this is just going to be an empty table and I already have this information available in a report to use. So I don't want to use uh, an empty table here. So I'm going to go back to my place a table tool, but this time I'm going to select a seed based on one that is located in my library, in my DGN library. Now, if you're wondering how you will do this, uh, it is just a blank report that I have then formatted in the library to have the appearance and the columns in the order, etc., that I want them to appear. So it is just like a seed, all right? So I have one here called tree schedule template, and I'm going to say from a report. So I need to select my report. So I've got a couple of reports in here that I can use. The tree one is the one I want. And you can see now that I have my table floating ready for placement, already formatted. So things like, the text justification in my table. I have a fill in the title bar here, but uh, all of that can be modified afterwards or just make sure that it's correct in your actual seed, which is what I've done here. So I don't need any further modifications to mine. It is as I want it to be. Now I'm just going to do another place a table here. And this time I'm going to select from a report, but this time I want to do my fence report. 
So I'm going to select Fence Report Seed and change my report to be the Fence Report. And I now have my Fence Report floating down the bottom there. Now you can see underneath I actually have another Fence Report here uh, with the Excel uh, logo there or marker we call them. Um, this one I am going to delete all right, because it directly links to the Excel table itself. So it was placed using this icon here from a file. So although I can go into that file and make changes and then refresh the data, uh, the fence report that I've placed here is not coming from the Excel spreadsheet. It is actually coming from the report definition. So my fence report it's actually coming from here. So if I look at the details, it will tell me all about that fence report there. Uh, I can also place them from here. So you can see places the table. So if I select it, if my report has changed since my table has been placed, I can just select my table, press and hold, and say refresh the table from the data source wherever that might be. So it could be from the Excel spreadsheet or as it is in this case, it is actually coming from my report. So there will be no changes because it is up to date. Reports are found under the Analyze tab and will be covered in another video. Hopefully today you've seen how easy it is to place tables in the MicroStation Connect Edition. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.